season here at Style & Strings. For those of you who don't know, we're from York, Pennsylvania, so we get quite a bit of snow. Now, with melting snow comes a whole lot of mud. So, it's important for me to show you guys how to properly clean your stick. If you don't take care of your pocket after a bad mud game, you're gonna lose it. Kumar came over yesterday, said he'd take my stick and do all the dirty work for me, so whenever he gets into the shop, we'll see all the damage he's done, and if there's a stick left, I'll show you guys how to clean it. Yeah, dude. You just take that. Really, man? I asked you to mess it up, it's in like five pieces. What did you do to it? First I scooped a ball up in some slug. Then I dragged it around in a little mud. Then I put it in a sewer drain. Then I picked it up. Then I threw it into a puddle. And then I drove it over. Well, because Kumar's a jerk, you guys get a really good demonstration of how to clean a pocket. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out all shooting strings, and the last thing you wanna do is touch anything around your head. you've removed all your shooting strings, it's time to start the cleaning process. I always use dish soap, it really breaks down the mud well. But if you let your mud dry on your stick for too long, you might want to dump it into a bucket of water and let it soak for a while. It seems like a good idea to wash this in the shower, but it might make a bigger mess than you expect, so be aware of that. If you have a traditional pocket, pay special attention to your leathers. A stiff leather will actually affect your pocket more than the mesh, and they can actually deteriorate to the point where they'll break. A good trick to make your pocket dry both quickly and with good form is to use a layer of newspaper followed by a bath towel. Now shove as much of the bath towel in there as you can and try to actually make the shape of the pocket you want. After that, lay it out in the sun. If there's no sun, get a warm room and a fan. So I let this sit out and dry for a little while and after you pull everything out you can see that the pocket has a really nice form and everything should be a little bit uh, closer to normal than if you just left it there without stretching it out. Now, go through, put your shooting strings back in. Uh, I have a tutorial on that a few weeks back if you haven't seen it. Other than that, she's good to go if Kumar hadn't broken my stick. Now, I'm Justin Skaggs. This is the e Cross question of the week. If you got any questions, I'm kind of running out of ideas, so start tossing them to me down in the box below, kids. And uh, we've been brought to you by Jim Lax and Style and Strings. Have a good day, enjoy the spring season, take care, and keep laxing.